Food and life is such a beautiful thing, don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. Damn. All right, a lot of you guys asked me if I can do a Matt Stoney feast. Here's the thing, I don't even know what Matt Stoney eats. Matt Stoney eats everything. <laughs> Let's do this, five of his most popular videos. So, chili cheesesteak, wings, Sunday cookies, and the English breakfast. Let's do this all in one video. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best, most popular Matt Stoney video feast ever. Don't blink. All right, for the bonus too, let's do some burgers. So let's do the buns first. So a cup of warm milk here, one tablespoon of dry yeast, beautiful yeast, one tablespoon of sugar. Take that whisk, whisk that all in, and let that activate, all right? Let's also make some pizza. I will see him eat pizza. So, one cup of warm water here. One tablespoon of dry yeast. Feed this beautiful yeast. One tablespoon of sugar. Whisk this all in. Let both of these yeasts activate, guys. All right, first bowl. Yeast activated with this milk. All I'm gonna do, add in one egg. Whisk this egg in. And to this, two cups of flour added in. All we're gonna do is whisk this in, guys. Not whisk this in, fold this in. And all we're looking for, guys, is a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making burger buns. Come on, we know this. <laughs> all right, pizza bread. So, yeast activated. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of virgin olive oil in here. Two cups of flour. I'll take that beautiful clean hand. Mix it in, guys. All we're looking for, come on, we know this, is a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you make pizza dough. Okay. All right, hamburger bun. Cover, let it proof for 40 minutes. Pizza dough, cover, let this proof for 40 minutes. Boom. All right, tomato sauce for our pizza. So, a tablespoon of olive oil going in. Next, we got a tablespoon of garlic. Saute that up. Once you got that sauteed, two cans of tomato, nice and crushed. All right, this is the most dangerous part right here. Getting burnt by this tomato sauce. Ow! It's the worst, guys. It is, ow! Ow! <laughs> Okay, relax, 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 relax. Okay, I'm gonna pull down my heat, guys, to a very low heat here. Worst thing ever. All right, to this. Ow! What? Ow! Ow! One heat big scoop of tomato paste. Italians, do you guys get burnt by your sauce when you're making sauce? It hurts. Next, I got a bunch of fresh basil here, which I'm just gonna throw in. Boom, bam. And secret weapon, fish sauce. Gotta love the fish sauce. A tablespoon of this. And just because I'm using low quality tomato or canned tomatoes, I'm gonna add in one and a half tablespoon of sugar. Just to sweeten up this sauce. I'll just let this go for about an hour. All right, here we go. On this side, we gotta make some chili for our chili cheese. So, two tablespoons of oil. Here, push you guys over here. I got some ground beef here. Curry chop! See that? <laughs> so two pounds of this into this pot here. Then we got two pounds of this, throw into this bowl, and we're gonna make some mini sliders for our burgers, all right? All right, for our chili, two pounds of ground beef. I got two tablespoons of garlic here. I'm not even sure why I put the oil. Scoop it out, just drain it after. We got a half tablespoon of salt here, teaspoon of black pepper here, teaspoon of white pepper, half a teaspoon of dried cumin, Teaspoon of oregano here. Tablespoon of paprika, but I'm gonna add more because I like paprika, all right? Half tablespoon of seasoning salt, or teaspoon of seasoning salt. Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and we brown this up. All right, here we go. Meat's done, all I'm gonna do, drain this fat. Once I drain this fat, I'm just gonna throw it to the side. Nice, simple, easy, hot chili. Next to this, our cheese sauce. So I got two tablespoons of butter here, heating up. Just got your butter nice and melted. Two tablespoons of flour. Cook this flour in with the butter. Once you got that nice and cooked in, ah, oh, this is deep raw. You wanna take chicken stock, all right? Two cups of this going in. It's having whipped cream. Two cups of this in as well. Next, I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of garlic. Twist this in until it becomes nice and thick. All right, once it thickens up nicely, got some cheddar cheese here. I'm gonna throw in a cup to two cups of this beautifulness in. Make sure your fire is off, guys, before you add in the cheese. And just whisk this in. Nice, simple, easy, beautiful cheese sauce complete. Here's the thing, guys, I'm not gonna season too hard. 
just because I seasoned the beef pretty hard already. So I just wanted to balance out, all right? And I'll push this over here. I'm just gonna throw in half a tablespoon of salt, or a teaspoon of salt, actually. That's just a nice, beautiful, velvety cheese sauce. Monthly. Yes, guys, it may look a little runny right now, but when it cools down, it will thicken up. Add a little more cheese to it. All right, here we go. Bread has proof for our pizza dough. Look at our beautiful pizza dough. Got some oil on this pan here. I'm just gonna throw in my hand. All I'm gonna do, scoop this beautifulness out. Wait, where's the flour? Here it is. Some flour on the counter. Where's my bread scooper outer? It's okay, guys. See? That's what happens when you don't get your bread scooper outer, all right? You waste a lot of dough. Oh, it's fine. Okay, flour. Work this up. Once you got this nice and worked in, take your rolly. Little more flour in the rolly here. Roll this out, guys. Roll this out until it becomes nice and rectangly. <laughs> yeah, rectangly is good. All right, more flour. You don't want it to stick. Okay, I need a bigger table now. I have no room. Take this. Into the pan again. Once you got it into the pan, I'm gonna mold this with the pan. See that? Let's mold it with the pan. Once you got it molded with the pan, I'm just gonna proof this for an additional 20 to 25 minutes. All right, next, our burger bun. Take your Bread scoop it hour. See that? Nice and clean, guys. Nothing to it, guys. Flatten this out. And we're gonna chop this down to three ounce balls. Alright, chop, alright, chop, alright, chop, alright, chop, alright, chop, alright, chop. See that? You guys see that? <laughs> nice, beautiful chop. So, I'm gonna weigh this out. Let's see if I got a nice three ounce though. Got a nice scale here. Three ounce balls. You know, four ounce balls is fine. Four ounces? Yeah, four ounces is fine. All right, here we go. All of these balls are nice and form, and kitty's outside barking. Okay. Kitty. All right, this is what I was gonna do. <laughs> Forgot to show you guys. Okay, take your beautiful dough. All we're gonna do, guys, is fold it over like this. See what I'm doing with my hand? Fold over like this, then when you get to the bottom, you just pinch it. A little flour, so it's We'll stick to my hand, pinch and twirl, like so. Okay. He's such a brat. I don't know if she's even barking at guys. She's barking at a ghost or something. <laughs> All right. Nice, simple and easy. Nice, simple and easy. All right, six beautiful rows. All we're gonna do, place them on our baking sheet. We're not gonna flatten it guys just because I want it this size, all right? If you want a wider side, all you do is press it down, okay? All we're gonna let this do is just let this proof for additional 20 to 25 minutes before we start baking it. All right, time to weigh off our beef. So I got a bowl of water here, which I'm just gonna wet my hand. Grab some beef. Let's do five ounce. Is that too big? I think it's too big. Let's do four ounce balls. Yeah, four ounces. Four ounces, boom. All right, burger's nice and rolled out. Are we gonna do? Pan sear this, guys. I'm just gonna sear both sides for about two minutes, and we're gonna throw it into the oven. Nice, beautiful donuts, eh? <laughs> All right, next, on this side, I got three pounds of chicken wings here, which I'm just gonna throw one and a half things. Gonna season salt in. What I'm gonna do, take my beautiful clean hand. Marinate that in. Marinate that in very well. Get into every single crack, all right? We're not gonna do a bread coating, we're just gonna fry it as it is. Nice, beautiful bar wings. All right, oil's heating up right now. I'm just gonna let this marinate for the time being. 
Here we go, burger is nice and sear. Bring you guys over here. Our buns are nice and proof. A little egg wash on them. After the egg wash, sesame seeds on top. All right, oven's preheated at 420. Now all we're gonna do is bake this on the second rack for about 15 to 25 minutes. All right. Now I'll show you guys. Okay, boom. Take this, boom. Take this, you want to take this. Burger's going in for about four to five minutes. All right, here we go guys. Time to fry these wings. The scariest part right now, just because these wings are a little wet right now and this oil is hot, all right? Okay, what do you gotta do? Be careful, okay? Don't do this, don't try this at home. <laughs> okay, into the pool. I don't care if they can swim, they just have to get in. Okay, frying time for this? Okay. Ah, uh, can't even think right now, I'm just scared. <laughs> One at a time. Eight to 10 minutes. The thing is, the more I throw in, the more bubbly it gets, the less hotter it gets. Does that make sense? So the less hotter it gets, the less sizzly it gets. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Ow! Eight to ten minutes. Please be careful, okay? Don't do what I just did there. It slipped out my hand. Don't overfill this. Yes, I know I always say don't overfill this, but I always overfill it. Just don't do it, okay? See, I almost did it, see? I don't know. <laughs> just don't do it, okay? Alright, burgers out. This is when I hit them with seasoning salt. I always season at the end just because I like it, okay? You guys can season before, but I like it at the end. Just let that sit. Eight to ten minutes up. Pull out your beautiful wings. Nice bar style. All right. Here we go. Next, pepperoni lover pizza. So our dough has been proof for about twenty to twenty-five minutes. And throw the sauce on them. Nice and beautiful. You know, I'm gonna go all the way to the edge there because I want the cheese to go all the way there. Like so, okay. Cheese. Pepperoni. I'm gonna layer these pepperoni because it's a pepperoni lover, all right? Into the oven at 420, guys, for about 20, 30 minutes this together so chicken wings and some Frank's hot I did have some honey garlic but the bottle broke so I'm not gonna use it but it shattered I don't know why but not not feeling it so red hot today so mix it into a red hot That's not okay, once you got that nice and mix Red hot. <coughs> That's vinegary, like so. Next to this, you can't have hot wings or buffalo wings without that good old blue cheese. Oh, maybe too much, but still all good. Push this to the side. Got some of these veggies here. So I'll throw them to the side as well. Nice beautiful plate of wings. Next, my burgers. It's all set up, so it's just with lettuce, tomato, what is this sauce? Blue cheese sauce, onions, and cheddar cheese. Just gonna place it over here. It didn't come out where I, I want it to be, but still all good, guys. The burger patty shrank, goofed it there because I made a bigger burger. So next time I'll do it, I'll make a burger patty, all right? All right, next, our pepperoni lover's pizza here. I'm gonna do this, pop on this out, like so. It's beautiful. 
All right, next. Freshly baked cookies I baked off camera, guys. So, don't ask me for the recipe. <laughs> it's official, guys. I'm an awesome baker. And I can bake anything. Look at that. Look at that M&Ms on them. Chocolate oatmeal cookie. I know, guys. Looks delicious, right? Family recipe. I'm sorry, guys. Can't give you guys it. Just don't DM me for it. All right, guys? Sorry, guys. Family recipe. All right? <laughs> Here are cheese fries. So I baked these fries here. I didn't fry them. Fix up these fries a bit. We got our seasoned beef. And cheese sauce. Yes, guys, it's a little. Oh, yeah, it's running off. It's running off. It's running off. It's running off. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. What do I gotta do? I got two hands. That's why I need three hands. Ay-ya! Ay-ya! Okay. <laughs> That's what happens, guys, when I don't have three hands, right? <laughs> okay. A little more cheese on top. That's it. All right, last thing I gotta set up, guys, is the English breakfast. So I got the hash brown, I got the sausage, I got the bacon, I got the black pudding under here, toast, uh, beans, I got sauteed mushroom, all I gotta do is saute up some egg. Throw on this plate, like so. Let me just bring it over here. Look how beautiful it is. Yes, guys, I did forget the egg. Just because I have no room, guys. I have no room. Okay, forgive me, okay? Is it there? Boom, bam. All right, last thing, guys, I forgot was the ultimate Sunday. I'm not sure if I want to make an ultimate Sunday, just because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> Let's just do one layer Sunday on this tray here, so it makes it look like it. it's pretty ultimate already, guys. Who eats that much ice cream though, right? <laughs> okay. Caramel. Uh, strawberry sauce. Chocolate. I should have melted this, but it's still all good, guys. A little fudge there. A little fudge there. A little fudge there. Next, whipped cream. Oh, that was a bad whipped cream dressing. Okay. Sprinkles. Oh, yes. Lastly, cherry. Just one on top. Bam. Okay. Take your sundae. Where should we place it? Let's place it here, in the back here. Like so. There it is, guys. This is Matt Stoney's most popular video feast on YouTube feast. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. So we got your Sunday, you got your pizza, the English breakfast here, with no egg, I know, guys. Home-baked cookies I made. I'm not gonna share the recipe. <laughs> Hamburger, uh, chili cheese, chili cheese fries, hamburger with hot wings. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time, guys. Right, let's do this, guys. First things first, let's cut into our cold pizza. Why is it cold? Because filming, all right? Just because filming. Look how beautiful this is. Nice, beautiful pepperoni slices on top. I wanna to see the bottom. There it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Nice, beautiful brown or golden brown color. Okay, let's get into this. First things first, before it melts. <laughs> so, look at all this, guys. You think Matt Stoney can sit here and finish all his popular dish, or is it popular video dish feast on YouTube? It's a lot of food, guys. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I don't want that much sprinkle. That's the thing, guys. Excuse you, kitty. That's kitty. Okay, here. Buy this. Quick time before I put it away, guys. It's melting. Quick time. 
has got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. What's your problem? Hmm? You want the attention, kitty? That's why you're making so much noise? Mm. A little chocolate. Quick that. It's got it. Nice. It's alright. I don't say all I'll ever <laughs> out of all the chocolate I've eaten or the chocolate fudge I've eaten on Sundays. McDonald's has the best one. I don't know why I whispered that. <laughs> <laughs> nice and warmed up, guys. I'll buy this quick time. Pizza. He's got it. Nice. Pepperoni lover. Puff this. Mm hmm. Mm. That's a very cheesy pizza. Classic pepperoni cheese pizza. You can't go wrong. Back crust, front crust. Mm -hmm. It's just a little soggy. Just because it's been microwaved. Mm -hmm. My wings warmed up from chicken wings too, guys. Just because it's cold. <laughs> I want to show you guys the crust here. Mm. You see how soft that is? Mm. Always look for a nice soft dough, right? <laughs> mm. When you eat it fresh, it's crusty at the bottom, nice and soft in the middle. Chewy, gooey on top. With that beautiful fish sauce, umami, tomato sauce on top. Mm hmm. Look at this bun. Look how soft it is. It's like a pillow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is the thing about. Microwave guys. We gotta let that cool. In the meantime, what's up? Hmm? You want some attention today? Huh? Hmm? I didn't give her a haircut yet. She needs one now. Huh? Guys, don't call her fat, right? <laughs> Alright. Microwave or heated chicken wing in our beautiful blue cheese sauce. Guys, buy this quick tap. When you guys eat hot wings, it always has to be a blue cheese dipping. Quick tap! He's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm hmm. It just works best, guys. Just regular ranch won't cut it. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Regular ranch will never cut buffalo hot wings. You gotta get the blue cheese. Ah. I would say if Mastoni did finish this off, that's a lot of sodium. <laughs> that's the thing about competitive eating, right? You consume over, I want to say, close to a million. I want to say this is close to, I don't know. Nah. Maybe 500 million, you know, 500,000 milligrams of sodium here. How do I know this? 
a bag of instant noodle is around a thousand milligram of sodium already. <laughs> yeah. Instant noodles, guys. They're so high in sodium. Just one small bag, guys. That's why it's so tasty, right? <laughs> Good old MSG. Alright. Cheese fries. Oh man. It's not that appetizing anymore. <laughs> nice. Pick it. Quick that. I just got it. Nice. Pop for this. Mmm. Remember I said I didn't um, over season the sauce? Because you gotta count for the salt in the fries, mm, the salt in the meat, and the extra added cheese, right? And it's perfect. But it's ugh. <laughs> very, very ugh. All right, next homemade burger. Quick time. Let's get it. Nice. Super pop for this. Oh, oh, hot. Ah, hot. I'll buy it this way because I microwaved it. Nope. It's a little on the dry side. Just because it was sitting around. And the microwave killed it. It's okay. We got the cheese sauce. Mm. There you go. Bite of this. Quick time. Let's go. Nice. Pop for this. Mm. Mm hmm. Cheese sauce makes it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Got this. Keep that back button. It's beautiful. Alright, just half, just because we still have a lot to go through. Alright, lastly guys, just a bite of this before I start cleaning up. Yes, I know guys. You didn't eat a lot. Yes, guys. After I finish cooking guys, I have to build up this appetite, which I don't have right now. So, I gotta clean, work out, come back. And go crazy. <laughs> but right now, I think my family's coming by too. So they're just gonna demolish this too. So this little black pudding here. And a little tomato. Alright. Everybody's welcome. So just come by, guys. So if you guys are hungry. Okay. A little black pudding. Yeah. Okay, it's a little hard. Okay. Toast. Hash brown, black pudding, mushroom, beans, a little sausage, and a piece of bacon or oh, one fork with a tomato. The tomato cuts everything, as in cuts the fat, cuts the sharpness, cuts everything. Guys, I buy this. Quick tap! It's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. My roof of my gums, or the top of my roof, is still a little scraped there. And it still hurts. <laughs> I don't think I can ever be a competitive eater, guys. Mm, I can't. Everything just gets really ugly. <laughs> 
I know I keep saying ung, but ung is um sick of the same flavor. I get sick of the same flavor fast. For instance, you can eat chicken nuggets. You can eat a lot of chicken nuggets, right? But you eat a lot of chicken nuggets, it gets ung, as in there's too much of the same flavor going on. That's when I have to stop. That's what ung means. I don't know how competitors do that. I guess they just wolf it down, right? And not really care for the taste, yeah. Yeah, it's still lots and tons of food left for you guys. Just come through. Remember, the Sunday's in the fridge. All right. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick a one your pop shirt. It's a food last beautiful thing. Share, like, share this. Peace out.